So hello all you railroad fans. I'm going to show you how to use a infrared emitter and detector to detect cars on a model railroad layout. So what I have here is from Radio Shack uh, uh, infrared emitter and detector. Let me show you what the emitter is. It's this piece here, the brown piece. And what I've got is I'm going to power that with this 5 volt um, adapter, DC 5 volt. So these take 150 milliamps. So the only thing we're going to connect to that is a um, 33 ohm resistor to the emitter up to this um, 5 volt adapter. That's all I'm going to do for that. Now for the detector, I'm going to hook this up to my um, SC8C Digitrax SC8SC um, signal head driver and for this emitter I'm going to be hooking it up to uh, terminal 2 and to terminal 5 straight in. No other circuits are needed for that. So once that is installed um, this is what you have. So I've got these installed in here. Um, there's the detector through that window there. And the emitter is just sticking through there, so I'm backing off. So it's shooting across these two tracks here. Again, all it's hooked up is this emitter is hooked up to a 5 volt and a 33 ohm resistor to produce 150 milliamps. And this detector here is hooked directly into the SC8C uh, block detection. There aren't any transistors, resistors, or any of those circuits like this. So this would be useful. So this type of setup here, you use this for useful for automation. Um, for here's a scenario if you want to do um, programming. Um, Let's say you want this little engine to pick up this car, couple it. Um, if you're doing automation, you could do this by timing and just run this into the bumper. Um, that's one way to do it. But again, so with this program that I wrote is it's going to start this little engine. It's going to back up. And when it hits the sensor here, okay, that's going to be sensor 18. It's going to stop, um, then it's going to reverse the engine and go forward a little bit. So let me show you that. So the other configuration I have is a vertical configuration. That's where you have the detector up here shooting down. And you have the uh, infrared uh, emitter in the track itself. So again, this is the vertical configuration here. And what this gives me here is it'll detect when a, a car comes into line here. And it'll shoot down so it'll tell me where the end of the car is and so this gives you a different type of animation what I'm going to demo this is is how to uncouple cars by detecting uh, where one car stops and the other one starts